Hello friends, I've made it finally. I have a headache and I'm exhausted, but I'm here. Hi, how are you today? It was a day. No, I was not uh, late to the stream today because I was playing Tears of the Kingdom all morning. That would have been amazing if that were the case, but no. Um, no, no. No, I had a PC build shoot this morning. Um, and typically when I do PC build shoots, I get to do them at like a PC build studio that's custom made for PC building. Um, but I had to shoot this one here in this studio. Ah! Now I did have some helpers, thank goodness, uh, to help film from all the different angles. But also normally when I do PC build shoots, it's with the manufacturer to be like, oh, I made that motherboard, I made that cooler, here's a weird thing about it, or whatever. Um, and on this shoot, I had none of that. So it was like, oh, is there a weird thing about this? Let's look it up. Oh, let's consult the manual again. Like whenever I make my PC build videos and I'm like, read the manual and read the manual again and go back to the manual. And then when there's troubleshooting, go back to the manual again. That was the kind of morning that I had. <laughs> Solo PC build. Yes, that was the kind of morning that I had. So it was, uh, it was an exhausting morning. But uh, but we got it done. So that was exciting. Dante says you could just cancel the gong show until tomorrow. I could, but I feel like I'm not getting to stream that much lately. And that's making me sad because I really enjoy streaming. So I wanted to stream today uh, because I got a lot to do. My face says I'm tired as well, but no headache. I will refrain from the air horn. <laughs> Thank you. Well, part of the headache is that I didn't eat all day. We wrapped right around uh, like 3.10, 3.15 my time and then I shoved some pasta in my face. I'm hoping when the pasta kicks in the headache will dissipate but I don't know. I don't know. So welcome everybody. STS was kind enough to remind me in Discord that we got to do a spin wheel. So let me get a spin wheel up and running. There it is. There it is. Let's get a spin wheel going. So I don't know if you can read what's on there now, but let me, uh, sorry, I don't have the page open where I have to spin it, but I will in just a second. All right, the games that are up for Game On request for the month of April. Can't believe it's May already. Sudix Gift, thank you so much. Sudix Gift and Vegeta 25ers, thank you both so much for the resub and welcome back. Zanako, thank you so much for the hydrate reminder. Sensei6375, thank you for the resub. All right, here are the game on requests for the month of April. We've got Satisfactory from the Forlorn Knight, Crab Champions from Wizzy86, uh, Resident Evil 4, from Tank Shade X and Romancelvania from STS 2884. So let's see who the winner will be. You have returned. Let's see what we got. Let's see what. Oh, the white is definitely a spin again. Here we go. Spinning again, a Hawaiian guy. Thank you for the resub. All right, that looks like Resident Evil 4 to me. Let me double check. Let me double check that that's what orange is. Yep, Resident Evil 4. All right, there we have it. We'll be playing another stream of RE4. Yeah, I see people cheering. Good, good, good. I'm glad you, you like that one. Okay, there we go. Let me just mark that down. I'm hoping to play uh, Jedi Survivor uh, on Thursday for May the 4th for Star Wars Day. I'm hoping that the PC bugs are patched by then. I've been hearing about them. I haven't tried them myself, but hoping, hoping, hoping. So Tank Shade X, Resident Evil 4. Huzzah. All right. Boom. Thank you, everybody, for your game on requests for last month. May the fourth be with you all. Dante, I did play the first one. Nate and I played it uh, off stream. We played it downstairs in the living room. 
in VR, Resident Evil 4 in, G in VR. No, I don't think so. Come, steal Old yourself. man wiki. We are building an Thank you for army. gifting a sub. That's very kind of you. Thank you, thank you. You have returned. Meg Grimlock. Thank you for the resubs. So many awesome resubs today. Thank you, everybody. That hype train is going. Talk about a jump scare, right? Resident Evil 4 VR, that's too much for me. That is too much for me. All right. Bear with me, folks, while I get all the gong show stuff up and running. Normally, I have it done before I go live, but since today was a bit chaotic, it's a little different. Also, you'll notice the very first game we're going to feature today has a giveaway, and that's because it's one of uh, one of the community members, a friend of the channel, who developed this game. I love when that happens. Love, 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 love. Okay, looks like we are finally ready to go. Okay. Yay. New subscriber. The Come Net God, thank you for gifting we a community sub as well. Dante says, is it Adam Vision? It sure is. Yay. All right, let me load up Adam's game. Uh -huh. Our modest fellowship experience. Eardle the Elbonian just gave out five community subs on the channel. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, friends. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man, I'm exhausted today. Yeah, I'm sure Resident Evil 7 in VR was a lot. Thank you, guys. That's so very kind. All right, the first game that we're checking out today on The Gong Show is called... Poosh XL, and it is by none other than our good channel friend, The Adam Vision. Now, Adam was kind enough to give me five copies of this game to give away as well. So if you want a copy of this game for yourself, go ahead and write Poosh in chat, spelled the way that it is spelled in the game. So P-O-O-S-H. All right, here's what I know about this so far. Developed by Adam Vision Studios. Most of you probably already follow Adam, but just in case you do not, go ahead. Uh, this is launching in six days, so we're taking a look at it ahead of launch. And it'll be launching on both Steam and Epic Game Store, Mac and Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Switch, as well as Android and iOS. Push XL is a neon-infused, one-button arcade score chaser. That's it. That pretty much says it all. If you like that first sentence, you'll probably enjoy this game. Otherwise, refund it. I don't care. I just work here, says Adam. The spiritual successor to Ding Dong XL is what this game is. So how to play. Simply press the push button when your power and angle are just right, but don't wait too long or the floor will raise up and destroy you. Avoid hitting obstacles, collect power-ups, and survive as long as you can to place high in the leaderboards. This features an endless survival mode that becomes exponentially more challenging. It also features a challenge mode with the ability to unlock new cosmetic skins from each level you complete. Now, way to go, Adam. Push XL is available in 11 different languages as well. you love to see it. All right, now with that said, I know everyone's entering the giveaway. Just type P-O-O-S-H into chat and you will be entered to win. Now, uh, subs are twice as likely to win. That's my way of thanking you for supporting the channel. And now that you know a bit about the game, I've gone ahead and started the voting. If you need instructions on how to vote for the gong show or how the show works at all, you can use command gong or command gong vote. All right, let's try survival mode and we'll give it a go. Do I have to hit that? Oh, maybe I didn't want to hit that. Okay, let's retry. I thought I was supposed to hit that. Our modest fellowship expands. Nope. The sub. All right, well, don't hit that either. Oh, the net god. Uh, the net god just gave out five Come community subs yourself. on the we channel. Irritable the Elboni gave out five. Net god gave out five. My face just gave out two community subs on the channel. Thank you guys so much. You're so kind. We're going to be getting some uh, level five hype train complete giveaway going soon, I feel like. All right, let me retry. Let me retry. No! 
I can't aim where it goes. Oh, if you run into the sides, you die too. Well, that was by far my best one. Meg Grimlock just gifted five community subs and the net god cheered 200 bits, meaning it is a giveaway time. Yay! Thank you, everybody. You know what we'll do? In addition to the five codes for Poosh XL, thanks to Adam Vision, I will also give away five uh, Magic the Gathering Arena online codes today. So there you go. Thank you for that hype train. Still, Poosh will be the word to enter, but... Uh, if you win, I can ask you if you'd rather have the magic codes or the push codes, or maybe I'll just divvy them out as they go. How long has push been out? Kindy Gaming, KK Indie Gaming, it comes out May 8th, so it will come out in six days on PC, Mac, Android, iOS, and Nintendo Switch. All right, here we go. I feel like I got lucky so many times that last one. I got unlucky that time. <laughs> ah! It's almost in some ways easier to do the little jumps because you can kind of, oh, nope, there you go. You can kind of control where you're going. Oh, that was okay. That didn't kill me. No, right into the wall. And folks, that is a gong show win already for Adam Vision's Poosh XL. Congratulations to Adam on your win today. I'll keep playing for another five to 10 before we move on to the next indie game of today's showcase. Ah, uh, you think that thing wipes the board. It's pretty cool. And Red Banshee says, so wherever the arrow is pointing when you push the button is the direction you're going. Exactly. And how full the arrow is is the power that you're going in said direction as well. All right. Adam does know how to make a good game. Agreed. Nate's over there going boots and pants. No, boots and pants. Ah, oh, that was not my best. What was my best score? 2000 something? I'm sure there's probably people who are amazing at this, like Adam, who designed it. Ah, oh, farts! I didn't know that was going to be there. See, if you go too long, it's like... It is kind of groovy music. I agree. If you go too far, you don't know what obstacles are going to be there. Like that. How was I supposed to know? That was there. Because, Trisha, you should memorize the levels at this point. Okay, little hops, little hops. Okay. Okay. No, oh, no. Ah! <laughs> I died exactly at my best score from before. Everything is a hazard, except for that one thing I got that was good, somehow. Trying to just beat my personal best, you know? Oh, farts. <laughs> I should have waited. Red says, hey, you passed Adam. Did I? What do you mean? Oh, that's Adam Vision's line of his best? No, that can't be true. I just thought they wanted us to know that, like, Adam made the game. Now I just have a longer... I passed my own best in... Uh, just barely. Said it too soon. I said it out loud just too soon. <laughs> All right, new best, new best. You have returned. Ah.
Okay, let's go. Nah, farts! Well. Thank you guys for the level 5 hype train. GG Boot says, I can see playing this game for a few hours. I appreciate the mechanics. And you can understand also why it would work so well on mobile. Oh, stinker. Will it run on Steam Deck? My guess would be probably, but you'd have to officially check with Adam. I mean, should I get that? I guess I can't now. Uh, ah, I went very much the wrong way. Yeah, I was screwed. I was screwed there. I got stuck in a corner. Hi, Ash said hi. How are you? Ah, no! <laughs> all right, all right. Folks, we do have, uh, did Adam make this game? Yes, Adam made this game. This is Adam's Poosh XL. It comes out in six days. I'm doing good. I had a long shoot this morning. Uh, so I have a little bit of a headache, but that's all right. We're celebrating indie games today because it's Tuesday, and that's what I like to do on Tuesdays. Farts. There we go. Yes, happy belated birthday to Beardtastic Yogi in chat for sure. And I'll do a giveaway for Poosh XL if you haven't entered yet, folks. All you have to do to enter, oh boy, is... <laughs> is type poosh into chat, P-O-O-S-H. Type the word poosh into chat and you will be entered to win. Subs, as always, get twice the giveaway luck. And not only are you entering to win five copies of Poosh XL, thanks to Adam Vision, but you are also entering to win some MTG Arena DLC. No, get me past it. What does that mean? What does that mean that I got there? No, no! Well, that's my best so far. I didn't know there were little, like, walkways. Nick, this game is very addictive and quite hard. All right, and with that being said, oh, no, indeed. Oh, no. Uh... You played a game by Adam called Super Bit Blaster. It was really fun. Adam has so many great games. All right. So I like the music in this one too. The game froze. Not your fault, says STS. I mean, maybe, maybe. But again, thanks to Adam, who was a gong show winner today. I do have some giveaway codes for you. And thanks to you guys completing a level five hype train, I do have some Magic the Gathering Arena online codes to give away as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Good luck to everyone who entered. We're air horning. Zomino's air horning for the giveaway. All right, here we go. Air horning for the giveaway. Good luck, everybody. Oh, man, I only see 32 people entered so far, and there's 10 giveaway codes, so you got a one in three chance almost. That's a good deal. All right, here we go. Tech2674. Congratulations on your copy of Poosh XL. Who else we got rolling a new winner? Old Man Wiki, congrats on your copy of Poosh XL as well. Who else we got? Who else we got? Zomino! Zomino, congrats on your win today. And we also have Peanut Flush. Peanut Flush, congrats on your win. And Bubba966. Bubba966, congrats on your win too. All right, let's see. Let me make sure I'm walking, I'm putting all this down. <laughs> well, you know what? The bla the air horn is here to uh, accentuate the giveaway, if you will. Catnip Ninja, thank you for the resub. And Classy Librarian, thank you for the raid. 
party balloons for Classy's Raiders. Classy, I adore you. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. Thank you for the raid, folks. If you don't already follow the one, the only Classy Librarian, you are doing yourself a disservice. Please go ahead and follow her. She's a wonderful human and longtime friend and makes great content. So, Catnip Ninja, Foo2099, and Joker Joe, thank you all so much for the resubs. Appreciate you. All right, we do have five more giveaway codes to give out today. Now, these are going to be Magic the Gathering Arena Online DLC, courtesy of Hot Pockets. I got those extra codes to give away. So, I'm going to give those to you guys. MTG codes, and those are going to... Good luck, everybody. Dante Bogdan. Congrats. And also, Sudix Gift. Congrats. And also, The Net God. Congratulations to you. And also, Alvarak01. Huge congratulations today. One more, and it's going to P.S. Weech. Congratulations to everyone who won something today. I will send you your codes after the stream is over. And again, huge thank you and uh, congratulations to the Adam Vision on your win today for Push XL. Huzzah! Huzzah! All right, let me get the next game fired up. It does have a free demo, this one online. Okay, and of course I'm realizing I totally forgot to change the category for Push XL. You know what? I'm going to do that right now and just give the disclaimer. If you're here on the stream for Push XL, I apologize. I did not get a chance to change the category earlier, but it just happened a little earlier in the stream if you're watching the VOD. Oh, hey Carly, how are you? Welcome. Oh, thank you so much, Classy. I appreciate you. Carly, thanks for saying hi in the stream. I hope you're well, friend. I will get to see you in June. I'm very excited about that. All right, so let me change this over to the next indie game of the day. It's called Zombinions. Like minions, but zombies. Zombinions, maybe? I don't know. Thank you for the hydrate reminder. All right, and here we go. Here's what I know about Zombinions or Zombinions so far. It is developed by Blue Spy Studios, published by Next in Game, launching sometime this year on PC. And in Zombinions, you lead the zombie invasion by creating different types of zombies. Start with a zombie epidemic in the world, make strategic moves using zombies with different characteristics, and dominate humanity. It is rated M for frequent violence or gore and general mature content. Please keep that in mind if you're watching with young, young ones. You get to build your zombie army and strategic methods. Once you bite one, they will aid you in biting others. Ah, oh, it feels a little bit like, uh, is it like free, what, what's the tag game I'm thinking of where you tag people and then they become part of your team? I don't remember. Zombies have different characteristics from each other. Some are more attack focused or defense focused than others. Some can have higher health, etc. And it features a story mode where you can learn about the zombie epidemic and progress on a level basis. And survival mode where your focus is living as long as possible alongside your zombies. So this is what I know about it so far. Like I said, there is a free demo on Steam. The voting is now open if you want to vote on this game yourself. And let's see, Catnip Ninja, you're back. Uh, but you have to go work picked up. That's okay, that's okay. We'll be here when you get back. Enjoy work. Here we go. Story demo. Perfect. 2042, big explosion. I think about Zombie. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, for movement, W, A, S, and D with Q and E. Got it. Spawn a zombie. A zombie, a metalhead, an assassin, a bomber, or a giant. I only have 10 blood, so let's spawn a zombie. It's going to bite another person. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, oh, I feel so bad. 
That poor guy was just playing video games and keyboard in his room. Kevin. Kevin's room. Now Kevin's a zombie too. Now we have two zombies. Classy, that's okay. I know it's midnight for you. Good to see you, my friend. Have a good night. Now it's Kevin's bathroom. Who's in Kevin's bathroom? Oh, no. That person was just trying to pee. Okay. Are these all different levels? Oh, someone has a gun over here. Kevin's house. Uh, what if I do have 60 now? I could make a metal head or an assassin. I don't know what the difference is, but let's try making a metal head right here. I'm hoping the metal head will protect them a little bit from that handgun. I don't know if it will. Oh no. Oh no, that's not looking great. Oh, he tried to do a spin kick in the air, though, it looked like. One zombie down. Yeah, this is not this is not working. Not your cuppa, Red Banshee. Okay, well, let's restart that level, I guess. Here, you know what? Let's can I I can turn it. Uh maybe I need to spawn an assassin right behind this guy. Oh man, assassin got him quick. Happy Twitch Gong Show Day to you. He just wants a hug. Oh, yeah, man. That assassin works real fast. Oh, and now it's at a jazz club. Okay, let's do an assassin again. They're pretty cool. Oh, but very squishy. How did that security guard get that assassin so fast? Again, that one too. Man, that security guard is on it. Okay, well, we got to try again. I thought for sure that was going to be the move. Okay, there we go. I got him. Go, assassin, go. And security guard zomb. Okay, got, got everybody at the jazz club. The swimming pool. Um, well, it doesn't look like the people in the swimming pool are even alive. Can zombies walk through water? They can. Oh no, poor people in the swimming pool. They're trying to get away, but somehow my zombie moves faster in water than they do. I guess I could make another one right here. The rotate's really slow. Also, the music is kind of strange. Strange choice of music for this one. It's like very calming and relaxing. Let me know if you guys can't hear it. I'll turn it up more. Like, who's that guy in the laboratory? I haven't tried one of these guys yet. Bomber. Whoa. All right, well, that was effective. Okay, now we've got a bigger area. Blue City. I kind of want to put... I can only afford one assassin. Okay, now I got an assassin and a security guard. We're going to get more people and then hopefully... Take over over there. Hey, guys, could you do something? Everybody's running. No, don't go there yet. Get this guy first. Okay. Come on. Do something, zombie guy. Go, assassin, go. Okay, good. We got them all. Yeah, the chill piano music with the plethora of cartoon violence is very strange. Is 
speed run F. Now they're going faster, I guess, if you need to speed it up. Relaxing zombie murder, you know? Okay, I took out Blue City. Now it's the cargo ship. Yeah, I don't, this is not gonna be good. Get that guy, then at least I have two guys to go up against here, but I still don't think it's gonna work. Unless I can distract him with, yeah, what's happening over there? Nothing, a whole lot of nothing is happening over there. Yeah. Thumbs up for the calm piano violence, says Beardtastic. Although Nick's like, nah. I think this zombie's like stuck there. And I can't make another zombie. I'm gonna restart this level. Yeah, my zombie got stuck. Yeah, oh, he's gonna get shot soon. Yep, there goes that zombie. I do have 20 now. Yeah, I guess Buckethead can take one extra hit or a few extra hits, maybe. Yeah, he's, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed, but didn't make it, didn't make it. I feel like I need one zombie here to get that guy. Let's hope he doesn't get stuck this time. And then when this guy starts shooting at those dudes, I'm gonna do this. Hopefully he can get security guard. Looks like it, oh, looks like it happened. There it is. That sound makes you think of zombie farts. Now folks, if you're like, hey, I voted thumbs up and it's not counting, keep, please keep in mind that the votes do tug of war. So they'll go back and forth. Oh, that was it. That was the whole Zombinions demo. Uh. Is STSS guess I'm the only one feeling this game. Well, you know what? If you're feeling this game, there is a free demo right now on Steam. And well-timed, we've seen the whole demo. While Ash said hi, says very cute, and STS is digging it and may check out that free demo. Today, the Gong Show audience gave it an official Gong Show. There it is, folks. That was Zombinions from Blue Spy Studios and Next in Game. All right, let me get us to our next game of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, loading up now. Could have used more onion in the Zombinions. Up, <laughs> oh, and it's getting weird on my display. I think it's still gonna be real weird. Yeah, real weird. There it is. Folks, the next game today is called Cornucopia. This also has a free demo on Steam right now. It's developed by Subconscious Games. Their game Twitter is just over here on the side. And it's available on PC as of August 1st of this year. So it will be available on PC August 1st. In Cornucopia, you get to embark on a breathtaking 2.5D farm life RPG adventure and bring your wildest rural dreams to life. Immerse yourself in a vivid world where pet assisted gathering and combat, thrilling animal racing and breeding, customizable homes and cutting edge compost mechanics, to me that says poop, are just the beginning. Forge lasting relationships, master addictive mini games and revel in festive celebrations. 
as you uncover the spellbinding secrets of Cornucopia's dynamic world. Folks, there are more than 49 NPCs to connect with through gifting, dating, and storylines within the game. You can grow and harvest crops to become successful in your town. There are 12 distinct enemy types and 5 challenging boss battles. You can upgrade and personalize your home's interior and exterior and participate in a variety of activities to gather materials, such as mining, logging, watering, fishing, mushroom foraging, etc. With all of that said, the voting is now open. And yeah, relationships, what? That's what I'm saying. All right, let's check it out. What's my name? Trisha. My birthday season. Uh, let's do autumn since that's close to my actual birthday. I want my eye color to be purple, purple. And cherry farm. Dragon Rider Farm is the name of our farm. Watch the intro cutscene and complete the tutorial. Yes. There we go. Oh, you can... That's kind of fun. You've got three options here for gender. Uh, you can change lots of stuff. Oh, I might have longer hair. Yeah, longer hair seems good. Longer teal hair, green, I, there's no rainbow hair option. So I guess I'll just go with brown hair. Um, are these my clothes? Oh, shirt underneath could be pink. And overalls, I mean I kind of like them in blue, but you've got all these different options. Maybe we'll do, yeah let's do this like blue teal. And then... What's this for? I don't know. Hat or something? I don't know. Okay, starting. Starting! She's frozen solid. Where did you find her? Deep in the mines. Oh my gosh, I love the character design of that person. Further than I ever thought anyone had ever adventured before. A lot of ropes, pulleys, and grit brought her up, fighting past innumerable dangers. How long do you think she was trapped in there? I've never seen her before. No one could survive this. I'm not sure there's anything we can do for her. This is beyond my skill as a doctor. Rufus, you're going to need to drive her to the next town. Dr. Andre, please tell my wife, Rose, I won't be returning home tonight. You must go now. Help me load this ice block into the back of my truck. It's surprisingly lighter than it looks. We, we are the ice block, I'm guessing. Doctor, it's not looking good. We have to do something now. Wait, I can hear a faint heartbeat. Hang on, there's still hope. Can you hear me? Wake up, we need you to fight for us. Don't give up. We're not ready to lose you yet. Darn, looks like a roadblock. Now that you're feeling better, I may as well give you these tools so you can clear this rubble. They're in the back of my truck. You're going to have to do all the heavy labor. I'm not the spring chicken that I used to be. Oh, fishing rod, watering can, axe, hoe, scythe, and pickaxe. Okay. Yes, yes, grab a thing. I could put it in my bag if I wanted. Or put it back down there. Got it. Yes, this looks good. Thank you. Okay, I move here. Oh, I love the turnaround, how we're flat. Okay. Okay, it tells you what each of the things does. Cutting weeds. Cut the 
weeds. Uh, pickaxe. Guy, pet weeds and mushrooms used to break rocks. Let's use our pickaxe here. Got it. What is that? Oh, till the soil and break mounds, I guess. Unlocked. Choo choo. Another roadblock, and this one looks like it's gonna be a real toughie to get past. We'll have to break out the big guns for this one. Time to bust out the explosives. Grab the bombs from the back of my truck. Wait, you just have bombs in the back of your truck? Sir. Put them there and run away is what I'm getting from that. Alright. We did the thing, sir. Great job, you just blew those rocks to smithereens. Now hurry up and hop back into the truck bed so we can get moving again. All right. <laughs> Joker Joe says, this is not necessarily my type of game, but it's a cool art style. This is a cool art style. Cornucopia. Is this our house? MV, MZV, I'm sorry if I didn't say it earlier. Thanks for the sub. Clear the garden of all the logs and stones so you can grow, grow some delicious vegetables. Just till plant water and wait till harvest. As easy as pie. My wife Rose made you a pie as a welcome gift. Here you go. And by the way, that shipping bin looks pretty run down. You'll have to repair it before you can sell products. Stanley, our mailman, will pick up anything, any outgoing deliveries every week. Best lead you to it. What if I give the pie I just got to Stanley? Maybe I can uh, romance the mailman, huh? Joker Joe says, oh, this is legit Stardew Paper Mario. And I think that's a very accurate description. One second. Yes, sir. Forgot my soda in the fridge. Oh, you need your soda, sir. Ah, that hit the spot. I've been using your home to store my soda, as Rose doesn't approve of me drinking the stuff. I trust we'll keep that our little secret. There it is! Cornucopia has been declared a gong show winner today. Huge congratulations to Subconscious Games on your gong show win and on your upcoming launch. Dress Max says, romance that mailman if you want, but he's been around the block. That's all right. No judgment. That just means he's experienced. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Let's go. Just keep in mind, it never hurts to share a fizzy drink with an old man every now and then. Take this to help lighten up your load or liven up your home. A little gift. All right. Yeah, this one's super cute. A hanging barn picture. Oh, the dog needs me. Don't forget to take care of Munger. Okay. Get some sleep. You have a big day tomorrow. When you wake up, don't forget to fix the shipping bin. This fa Oh, wait. Munger the dog talks. This farm's been my home for so long and it never ceases to amaze me. It's a paradise for those who appreciate the simple joys in life. 
Thank you. It is 10 p.m. He's right. I should get to sleep. I'm so tired. Cool house, though. Can I hang my picture? Use hanging picture interior blueprint. Yay, I put it right above my bed. I'm so cute. I'm going to sleep. Okay, we're sleeping. Time to fix that shipping bin. Oh, mail. I'd really like it if you put water in my bowl and food in my dish, or I'll poop near the shipping bin. <laughs> Okay, calm down. Don't forget to stay focused and fix that shipping bin. Just complete the request on the top right-hand side of the screen. Let's get that farm in tip-top shape again. I found this in my tool shed. I think it's more useful. A rare cluster and a tumbler. How much mail do I have? Lovely to see a new face around here. I know you'll do well. Here's a little snack I prepared. Oh, a kawaii bento box. Yum. All right, how do I... Here, I know I gotta feed. I don't think I have dog food. I just have dog poop. That is a massive log. How do I, um... Uh, gather 12 stone is what it says I need to do. I mean, is this... I gathered stones. Oh, now what do I need to make? Is that a watering something? What is it? I don't know. Settings, card menu, card menu. Hmm. Skill book, crafting. Um. Completionist. Wow. There's a lot here. How do I uh, get water? I don't really know. He just said clear stuff. Oh, place a furnace is what it wants me to do next. I guess I... How do I place a furnace? Um, is it in my bag? Furnace, there it is. Okay, we'll put the furnace maybe right over here. I don't know, is that a nice place for it? Place furnace blueprint. Now I need to put some stone into it, I guess. This kind of stone. There we go. Um, process four stones in the furnace. Oh. Oh, I guess I, I didn't do it. Somehow I messed up the furnace. Why don't I put the furnace over here? I feel like that makes a little more sense. I am distracted, Star Drew. Maybe the furnace will help keep the doggo warm. I want the doggo to be warm. Oh, do I not have stones anymore? How come it won't let me place it? Oh, because I guess it needs to be on grass. Okay, right there. Add four stones or ores to process. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta do something while I wait, it says. Let's give water to the dog. I don't know how to get water for the dog. Do you see anything that looks like water? I do have a watering can. I'm getting some leafy seeds. Uh, I don't see any water. Oh, there! Use watering can. No? Okay, well that's not 
found it. Uh, I mean, the well seems like what one would need. Can I fish in the well? Oh, it says refill your watering can here. Is it refilled now? I don't know. The well's just for show. That would be so sad. And let's see if I can... Oh, I did give him some water. Yay! I mean, I could feed him his poop, but I'm not going to do that. Ah, gather 12 logs. I made three. Uh, here, let me gather some logs. Okay. Cl Martinez, welcome back. Good to see you. Oh, here comes Winter. Well, well, well. Look who's fully recovered. Winter, I really like your hair and pink mustache. Gotta say. I saved your life, you know. Little boats should stay near shore while bigger boats can venture more. Don't worry, you'll grow up to be a big boat into a big boat with time. And please stay out of those mines. You know, perhaps you should only stay on this farm and inside your home. I'm sick of saving people from danger. Here, take this cooking pot. It should keep you busy. One of my servants dented it, so I no longer want it in my house. Oh, winter seems like kind of a jerk. Oh wait, you can't even use it till the full version. Ba ha 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 ha! That's hilarious. I love demo jokes. All right, trying to get some more logs. Let's go to the mines. Need one more. Okay, I got 12 logs and now I gotta place a saw. Tumbler, saw. I guess the saw can go right here. Add four logs to process. Okay. More stones are going there. It's gonna make it nice back here. I don't have any food for the dog yet though. stones for that to process. What is that? A small leech? Return. Oh, I guess I could use that as as fishing bait? Okay. Got all that going. Uh... I mean, can I chop down this huge, massive log? I don't think I can. Ah, I still didn't fix that. Oh, but now I can with lumber. I see. Repair the shipping bin. I had to do all this to repair the shipping bin. I don't need the poop. Let's leave that there. I need one lumber and one block to fix it. Are these my blocks? Blocks. Yay! We fixed the shipping bin and got some fireworks, which is great because that was the end of our 10 minute extra playthrough of Cornucopia, which you guys declared a gong show winner today. Huzzah! I mean, we could have just went to Lowe's. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Keep that one in mind for when we vote at the end of the stream. This next one I've been wanting to check out for a while. And I don't, it's been a while since we played 
an FMV game on Gong Show, but we're about to do it. So buckle up, friends. This is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. I'm excited for it. I am hyped. Okay. All right. Fire it up. Let's see. Let's see if I have any in-game game today. Folks, this next game is called 10 Dates. It does have a free demo available on Steam. It's developed by Wales Interactive. Oh, turning it down. Developed by Wales Interactive and Good Gate Media, published by Wales Interactive, and launched on Valentine's Day of this year. Onto PC, Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch, as well as iOS and Android. You just played the prequel, Five Dates, Paladin. How was it? Ten Dates is the sequel to the interactive rom-com Five Dates. Misha, a millennial from London in search of that elusive in-person connection, tricks her best friend Ryan into going to a speed dating event with her. So that's what we're about to do, guys. We're about to go speed dating together. Turn it down a little more. This is, by the way, rated M for drug references, use of alcohol, strong language, and sexual themes. It's a live action rom-com with 12 hours of footage. Your choices and interactions will either strengthen or weaken your relationship with your date. Amidst a branching, multi-directional chain of conversation topics and deep dive questions, Misha and Ryan are faced with icebreaker games, awkward scenarios, and unexpected truths. Let's do it. Paladin said, I love the prequel. Nice. Uh, Chick says, we are in for a treat. Here we go. Um, I'm going to be Misha. I don't know if that let me do it or not. I tried to be Misha. Maybe I'm the dude. I don't know. Oh, no. Can I go back? Hold on. New game. There we go. First you need to be found. Misha, 27, 5 foot 2, located in London. Uh, select a profile picture that best represents you. Profile pic. Uh, I think that one's cute. That's a, that's a cute one. 5 foot 2, I know I'm moving up in the world. Yeah, that's a cute one. What industry do you work in? Finance, creative, healthcare, other? Let's do creative. What are your interests? Travel, spirituality, arts and culture, technology, partying, charity, food and drink. Let's do tech. Um, oh, I get to pick more than one. And we'll say tech and charity and arts and culture. Uh, I'm a Virgo for real, so I'm going to make Misha a Virgo. Incoming call from my buddy. Ah, oh, there was me having a good day. Well, it's just become great. You're welcome. What's happening? Uh, I just got back from work an hour ago. Same. I've made myself some food. Same. And I've just got off the phone with my landlord. Oh, not same. Yeah, I missed a payment, but it's it's fine. I've paid it now, and it, it's settled anyway. Mm. Anyway, mm. I've got some news. Okay. I joined a dating app. Have you? Well, I mean, they are inevitable. I was expecting more shit from you. Well, what, what's the saying? They have um, people in glass houses can't throw stones. No way, you too. Mm -hmm. Matches? Yes, a lot. Now a zero. But don't like apps like help out new users with Misha, like, likes and you're not helping. You know, they really try and help <laughs> you get people to like you because you're new. Misha, I still have zero even with whatever you just said. There's still zero. What about you? Hey, the grass isn't always greener. I've got like 80 likes. But like once you filter out like the bad profiles and the nude pics and the meh ones, it's all just a bit 
quiet. Are your standards a little bit high? No. Anyway, I have a new initiative in the works. What's that? You're going to kidnap someone? I've signed up for speed dating tonight. <laughs> okay, why are you telling me this? Because I'm bricking it and like, do you want to have a drink for Could you just say less? It'd be great if you just stopped speaking about 30 seconds ago. See you there. Bye. Bye. Okay, speed dating time. I feel like she and Ryan are gonna end up dating. No? No? I don't know why. I just get that. I get that feeling. Joker Joe says, not one for FMVs, but decent acting, not gonna lie. It's true. Feel that vibe. Yes, but what if there is no vibe? What do you do then? If you're online, you can log off, you can make it an excuse, you can just be gone. My internet connection is crap. Mm. What do you do here? Welcome everyone to Speed Dating. My name's Derek, I'm your host. We're gonna be beginning very shortly. So gentlemen, if you could make your way to your table numbers. You are so cynical. This is where you're gonna find that genuine connection you keep banging on about. Why are you <laughs> smiling at me like that? <gasps> Ni Why are you smiling at me like that? No, I'm not smiling, you're like a thing. Nisha? There is a small possibility I might have signed us both up. I'm not doing it. You are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'll just leave. Oh, come on. No. Look, at least it's going to be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. I'm just going to get humiliated. You've been preparing for this. I'm not, I'm not doing it. It's a great story. Oh, he's browsing. He's browsing the shop floor. <laughs> How does it work? Sorry, what? <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Okay, so the women stay at the table, the men, you, rotate around them. I'm a man now. So you go to different tables and you speak to girls. What do I say? Whatever you like, but you have five minutes, okay? Mm, okay. And halfway through the date, that dude over there will give us a warning. And then he'll also tell us when there's one minute left to wrap it up. So essentially, you've got to use your time wisely, which I know you're not good at. No, that's why I don't want to do it. Exactly. Uh, we're going to start with the gentleman by your first allotted table numbers. And good luck. Have fun. Um, you're sitting in my first date seat, so I need you to jog on. Go well, lad. <sighs> Cheers. OK, do we get to date now? It does kind of feel like a show, huh? I don't know what that means. Here we go. Hello. Hey. I'm Misha. I'm Bash, here for the interview. <laughs> You've been on holiday. You got that healthy beach glow. Really? Mm, what's a holiday? Oh, that's sad. I just got back from a stag day. Mm, nice. What did you get up to today? <laughs> uh, just played some father side football with the boys. Yeah, pretty knackered. <laughs> I just went to the supermarket, did the weekly shop. Do you still do that in person? I do it all online now, it's easy. Yeah, of course, I've got to squeeze my fruits. Why do you need to squeeze the fruits? What do you need to know about them? The names? Hi, I'm Lenny, I'm, I'm a lemon. That actually is a good name for a lemon, though. Lenny, shut up, mate. Get him a gin and tonic. Oh, lemons and G&Ts. That's ballsy. Don't tell me you're a lime girl. <laughs> well, they seem to be hitting it off, okay? So, your name? What about it? Well, it's got to be a nickname, right? Yeah, if one needs a nickname. Then what's the story? It's a long story. Condense it? No, it's a long story. Leave it. Oh, don't leave me guessing. At least give me some options. You're an option. So are you. Yeah, fair. Okay, I'll move on. This is your halfway warning, guys. You think he's Three sus, Irritable? I know, it flies, doesn't it? So, have you got any nicknames? No, but my name is already sort of a nickname, apparently. It means Michael in Russian. Michael. Mm. I knew someone called Michael once. He nicked my girlfriend in year six. I'm sure she could choose for herself. Can I call you Mike? Yeah. You've got any real nicknames, then? God, no one's ever asked me about nicknames before. Well, I am honoured to be the first. So come on, I ain't got all night. My mate Ryan calls me Muggy Misha. I apparently mug him up a lot. In the blue corner, the biggest rocket here tonight, Muggy Misha! You practiced that in front of the mirror, didn't you? hundred percent. So... I can't decide how I feel about oh, this guy. Seamless. I'm just trying to keep the chat moving forward. Ugh, lockdown. It's dragging it up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was a weird time, wasn't it? That's all you've got. What was wrong with that? 
What do you want me to ask you about? You look down sex, or you look down dog walking, or you look down shopping, or... Ding, 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 we have a winner. Sold to the guy with the average chat. Thank you, thank you. Some may say he's redeemed himself. What are we doing? What is this? <laughs> we should stop. <laughs> oh, probably should. Let's, let's stop us. They seem to it's like each other. Yeah, it was in Turin in Estonia. I'm a Tell little weird. I don't know how I feel about him. There's yes. times when I'm yes, like, no, oh, he seems cool. <laughs> and then times when I'm it, like, right? eh. So we had to see what all the hype is about. Second night was an absolute madness, okay? We were oh, there's an option to pause like, for streamer mode? We to where this man came in by 5 p.m. He was absolutely battered. But after a little tactical woman, we were ready to go to the club. It was the best night any of us had ever had. Drinks were flowing. There were back-to-back -back bangers on the playlist. All the lads, they were all together. That's great. Then... There's a little bump in the road. This bird takes a liking to the groom. Wants to go back to his room. No freaking way he didn't. Don't worry. Big bad bash was there to intercept the potential disaster. No, it's not exactly encouraging for a happily married life, is it? Yeah. We all had a big old heart to heart with him the morning after about it. That's all we can do as his mates, you know? In my mind, cheating is absolutely unacceptable. And his wife to be, she deserves better. Oh, he's just commendable on your part. I have to have some principles to know. We've got one minute to go, guys. Just one minute. So we'll be wrapping up very soon. Seems like we might be drawing to a close. You sick on me already? Definitely. You seen anyone you like, though? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. What about you? You didn't answer me properly. What more do you want from me? I don't know, some more detail? Names, maybe? Nope, no names necessary. I may have seen a few hotties. Yeah? All right, show me. Oh, don't be like that. Like what? She's trying to make me jealous. Trying. Oh, whatever, man. And your time she's a way better flirt than I am. Day. By the way, she's we're killing it. Along to your next table. That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't. What's your socials? Yes, yes, we stand in touch. It's um at Big Bash One Two Three. Oh, you need a better handle. We love it. Oh, he needs a better day. handle. No, we're matching. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable as if I were also speed dating, but oh, 10 dates be is a gong go. show winner. <sighs> Congratulations. I am going to check out. Someone said there's a streamer mode to pause choices. All right, let's see how that goes. We're going to try that streamer mode. And folks, also, Adam Vision, the game developer of Push XL that we checked out a little earlier in the stream, is here in chat. Congratulations on your gong show win today, Adam. Huzzah! All right, Terrace House Guy. Thank you for the resub. Capalicious, thank you for the resub. Shout out to Adam Vision, indeed. All right, let's keep this going now that we have a moment. Resume game. Okay. Bash. Well, mm. Firstly, he's called Bash, uh, which tells you everything you need to know. Yep. Do you know what? He was really charming. He had really great banter. In a good way, yeah. In a really good way. He had a slightly funny haircut, but we'll let him have that. So, do you think there could be another date? Yeah, I can see that happening. All right, I see. Yeah. I said she was in it. Okay, good. So, Misha, what's going to happen next? Mm -hmm. I have one option. Mm -hmm. One's better than none. One is a lot better than none. So, what about you? Tell me about your speed dating. Oh, is that who Ryan matched up with? Select your second dates. I can't choose anybody else. I don't want to go on a second date with Big Bash One Two Three. <laughs> Can we choose somebody else? Uh. Yeah, I'm too much of a partier. No, no, sir. Do I have to? I guess I have to. Uh. Yeah, it's not great. Big Bash. But I guess Backspace is back, but there's no one else to ask. So I guess I have to. Uh, I don't I don't love this date with Bash, but you know what Misha kinda likes him, so 
Hey. How are you doing? Good, yeah, how are you? Yeah, we're not too bad. Keep them well, keep them well. Oh. Good week. Yeah, yeah, it's been good, yeah. What are you chuckling about? <laughs> Have I got something on my face? No, 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 no. It's my um, my mate sent me this meme. I can't stop crying. <laughs> Sorry. Look at you. <laughs> Do you want to see it? I'll I think we've it. reached that point, yeah. You get it. Is it going to be offensive? What? Do you find it funny? I can't tell. I don't like either of these choices. Being like, ha, 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 your mom's hot. It's a, it's a your mom's hot meme. Which, like, I don't want to be like, that's sexist. But at the same time, I don't want to be like, yeah, that's funny. Is there an option to be like, you're in the moms, huh? I mean, I'm a mom. But you know what I mean. That's so bash, says <laughs> Tiny. Uh, yeah, your meme sucks, bud, should be an option. Uh, let's do, I guess, I, I guess we'll say it's legit to be nice. Very good. <laughs> yeah. It's not really can good, though. Can you send it to me so I can share it? <laughs> yes, I can, of course. <laughs> uh, dear. Right, what do you want to drink? Wine. Wine? Yes. Nice. I'm going to get a big old pinty, I think. <laughs> big old pint of whatever they have on tap. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Do you know something I think might be quite fun? You've got, you know, you've got to link the arms. So Ready? You know. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. I win. I actually got. OK. Yeah, we used to play some wild games back in the day. Want to play a game now? Well, they're Good. chatting a bunch. That's good. Would you rather? Banging choice. Would you rather be a vegetarian for the rest of your life or only eat meat? Ooh. Well, I'm a meat man. But then I read all that stuff about cow farts killing the planet, so I'm going to go with veggie, save the world. Mm. OK, would you rather... Misha. Bash. How you answer this question will not only determine the fate of your future, but the future of our relationship mm. and all relationships to come. Okay. Would you rather... Burp slime or fart bubbles. That's it. That's that. That's the question. Mm. Okay, I can't believe I have to pick one. Really? That's the game. Uh, I think we choose um, fart bubbles. Right? I think we go with fart bubbles. No, Erdel says no. Junior Dax says fart bubbles. Yeah, fart bubbles, obviously. Fart bubbles. Fart bubbles. <laughs> Congratulations, you're through to the next round. How come? But like, what about representation? Mm. So you're saying that all of your mates have the same opinions? To be fair, Gaz did say burp slime and we forgave him. <laughs> so now I've waded through the depths of your subconscious, would you rather reveal your real name or be a dog? Are you joking? On the second day? So, dog? <laughs> <laughs> do dogs stand on two legs though? They do when they're begging and I'm begging for this to be over. So please. Why please doesn't he want to tell us his real name? That's so strange. Well, I'm a doer, so. Um, nice. Okay, would you rather give birth to a litter of fully grown cats or shit out a thousand mini robots? Well, I'm not doing either of those things. I mean, robots, because oh, then you'd good. have a thousand I'm mini on. robots. I'm gonna go with shitting out robots because, I mean, the cat thing freaks me out. The claws. Yeah. The claws. Yeah, but I would go with the cats, I think. Yeah? Yeah. But you can't give birth to them. Yeah, but I wasn't expecting you to shit out a thousand mini robots either, but that's well, just I, I, the... I was gonna watch you give birth now. Oh, yeah, that's because, okay. you know, we're not getting rid of You want to give birth? It's painful. I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea. They've been kicked in the nuts. Are you really gonna do this now? Do you wanna go down that one? <laughs> no, okay, I'll be on this one. Anyway, would you rather. Date someone you love or someone who loves you? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good question. No. Someone you love. Got to go with the first answer. No, wait, no, no, hold, no, stop. Um, someone, yes, someone you love, someone you love. OK, fine, I've got one. Would you rather get caught cheating or catch them cheating? Oh, this is a tough one and you're going to judge me for it. I know. i got to be honest. 
What does she say? I, I feel like this is more of a, if I'm Misha, what would Misha say? Then uh, what would I do in this situation? You guys are all saying get, catch them cheating. Um, because I'm like, I would never be on this date. This is so like not my vibe of human. Catch them cheating. Agree, yeah. I think I'd rather take the hit than be that person, you know? Mm. Hurts a lot more though, doesn't it? Yeah, it is like the worst thing ever. Um, but it's kind of out of our control, isn't it? So might as well just crack on. Exactly. That's why you gotta choose the right person. You do, yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. 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 <laughs> ah. Okay, would you rather lose your salary for the next five years or lose everything in your bank account now? Oh, lose everything in the bank now. There's not much in there, and I can make it back. <laughs> honest work, honest work. That's a great attitude to have. Yeah. Right, I've got one. Would you rather find a pube in your food Ugh. or someone with bogeys sneeze all over your face? Oh, God, the mental images. Why? I'm These are awful. Eat, one. Let your stomach guide you. Oh, God. Um... Neither. These are very gross. The sneeze, you can just wash it off after. It's like, what's the big deal? It's on your face. Yeah, like, I know it's not COVID safe, but it weirdly feels more hygienic. No, nah, and I actually ate a pube once. I don't even want to know. Do you want to know where it was? Oh. No, I don't want to hear any of this. Stop it. it was. Stop it. <laughs> Would you rather have a baby every year for 20 years or never have kids? Oh, 20 kids, that's got to be fun. So you want a big family then? Yeah, my house was pretty mental growing up and I bloody loved it. Mm. There was always really good chat around the dinner table and that, so. Mm -hmm. I can tell, attention seeking. <laughs> what? You've you got lots of siblings and you're attention seeking. I was, no. Well, if you think that, that's fine. But what about you? That is a lot of pressure. No, it's a totally unassuming question. All right, <laughs> sorry, no, Bash. Uh, Tiny <laughs> says I could watch this show and what I would prefer if it were if I were going to spend more time in this game, I would prefer if we actually went speed dating and we got to pick from a few different options as opposed to going on date two with Uber Bro Bash, who, you know what, seems like a nice guy, but genuinely not for me. Uh, but regardless, 10 Dates has very positive reviews on Steam and you guys gave it a gong show win today. So there it is. Congratulations to Wales Interactive on your gong show win for 10 dates today. And also, congrats to those actors. That would be a cool gig to book. All right. The next games I have to showcase on the gong show today are Xbox games. So let me fire up the Xbox. Get the Xbox going strong. You guys are helping my headache, by the way. It's much less now than it was earlier in the stream, so thank you. Uh, these games are not available on Game Pass right now that I know of. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Xbox for providing me with the keys to these games. So maybe some of them are on Game Pass. I'm not sure. You guys will have to double check for me. Okay. This next one. Okay. And here we go. So the next game that we are going to check out today, uh, thanks to Xbox for providing the game key, is called Super Epic The Entertainment War. Sinking data real quick while we talk about it. Developed by Undercoders. Launched at the end of 2019 on Xbox and PC, Super Epic is a satirical and humorous Metroidvania-style action-adventure game starring a raccoon and a llama in their quest to save an Orwellian society from the rule of an evil corporation. Regnant Core is an enterprise which is controlling minds through abusive microtransactions. Rough. I like that it has... That girl Trish says me... Okay, I mean, let's get started. Here's what else you need to know about it. Uh, Non-linear and fast-paced gameplay, combo-based combat, 
handcrafted levels and multiple endings, and there's weapon and armor upgrade system as you collect items through a variety of levels. Here we go. The voting is now open. Uh, story mode, I guess. 2048. After a series of hostile takeovers, only one video game development company remains in the world. A huge corporation which has established a reign of totalitarianism using mind control algorithms disguised as entertainment. Regnant Core. Society has become helplessly addicted to free-to-play games, tailored to alter behavior, suck money, and prevent communication. From an early age, all citizens are educated to follow the same rule. Work. Play. Spend. But a small group of rebels are still able to avoid the brainwash. Hiding from Regnant Core's eyes, they play video games which have long been forbidden and forgotten. One day, a strange, strange signal is intercepted through an obsolete modem-powered console. Do you want to put an end to Regnant Core's regime? Maybe we can work together. Tomorrow, we'll breach into their headquarters. All brave dissidents are invited to join us. This might be the chance we've been waiting for. Let's go kick some pig butt and win our freedom back. I'm, I love that we're a raccoon and a llama. This is adorable. Senor Regnant Corp Evangelist. Well, hello there, buddy. Welcome to Regnant Corp. Need some extra lives in Puzzle Burst Story? Maybe a few gems for the new levels? Uh, we don't want any of that crap. Wait, is my llama named Tauntaun? Wow, easy. What's up with that attitude? Everybody loves our free games. Your games are crap. They're not even games. You're forcing us to play them. Interesting. And what would you know about that matter? Enough to put an end to your operations, you fascist pig. <laughs> well, well, let's meet at my office and I'll see what I can do for you, buddy. If you can make it. Okay, we can jump. I can swing with my umbrella. That poor guy. Did I get something for defeating him though? Yeah, I get whatever the plus is down in the corner. I'm going up these escalators. Oh no, that guy got me. Don't like that. All right. Ooh, he's got like an Audrey plant. That's cool. Where are we going? Where's the office? I don't know. Oh, I need a secret code. I wonder what the code is. Maybe that picture over there holds some clue. Wait, do I actually have to use my phone and scan that? Hold up. Down with the pigs. Hold on, hold on. Yes, I do! Hold on! It takes me to regnantcorp.com. To a game called Flappy Pig. That I could actually play. But Flappy Pig... Does it have a code? That's hilarious. That's really... Okay, if I play it... Uh... Saving your score costs $4.99 and continuing costs $4.99. So maybe. Maybe $4.99 is the code. Wait, okay, hold on. Maybe $4.99 is the code. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Oh, hold on. No, that's not it. Stinker. What other picture would hold a clue? That's the only picture over there. Code 362508 is what you got when you scanned that? That was it, that was the code, Tiny. Did you get that just from scanning the QR code? 
Okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay. A $50 prepaid card, not too shabby. Coming up here, bud. Okay. Oh, you got five points in Flappy Pig and then it gave you an error screen. Nice. Uh, hello, anybody there? Zzz. Wake up, your boss is here. Sleeping. It's no use. This guy's profoundly asleep. His job has to be super exciting. All right, well, sleeping guy is not helpful. Whoa, he looks very scary. Ow! Drops rocks on me? No, thank you. I feel bad. She seemed like a nice bunny. Alright, how do we get through there? I don't know. to go to the toilet. Oh, it's just the WC. Alright, just the potty. You know, sometimes you gotta go potty in games, I guess. Oh, no. We'll just jump over him like we did last time. Oh, An energy drink. Love these to recover some energy. Let's put it on the quick menu. We can access the quick menu by pressing right trigger. Okay, I see. Oh, no. No, thank you. Okay, we're gonna keep going up. Oh. How am I supposed to get up there, you stinker? I guess like this. Do I pick that up now or anything? And achievement unlocked, sweet, huh? Okay. Now what? Oh, they're all delivering boxes. I'd prefer these guys not to draw packages on my head for the rest of this level, so... Wait a minute, what's up with this room? How are we supposed to get up there? I don't have a pogo you stick. Have uh, maybe we could try to pile up some boxes by kicking them up in the air. How do I kick them up in the air? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I needed those things still alive, those robot things. Fusionized Phoenix, welcome back. And Terrace House Guy, welcome back as well. Yeah, maybe I need those robots. How do I kick them up? Hi Hydra! Hi Malcolm Online! Yeah, I don't know. Oh, like that. I didn't realize I had that ability. Well, let's see how that goes. There we go. Okay. Hee hee hee. Hello there, young travelers. Hey, you're the one from the message. Are you the one leading the revolution? Well, sweetheart, let's say we invest in potential and we think you've got a lot of it. Here, take this little hack. We'll meet you again if you're able to master it. Okay. Hey, we can now double jump thanks to that weirdo. Let's see if we can find her again. Oh, that's nice. Oh, just average Sean. Thanks for dropping by stream, friend. How have you been since the source fed days? That was a long time ago. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm good. I do a lot of uh, tech and video game and uh, kind of geek content hosting still. Mostly tech and video games, though, uh, for a variety of different companies. And it's awesome, and I like it. And I have I stream here on Twitch on the days I'm not on set. Let's see where we can go over here. Oh, this is new. This is new. You found us on Indie Game Showcase Day, so I'm showing off indie games like super epic right now. All right, now I can get up here with my double jump. Got another $50 prepaid card. Oh, but I can't go through there. Not yet, at least. And another energy drink. Maybe I need an energy drink to get through this. Okay. I did oh an energy drink just heals you. That was pretty wasted, unfortunately. Oh, uh, Tibbo says I love your guest spots on Daily Tech News Show. Thank you, Tibbo. That's super kind of you. And hi Static Gamer, welcome. Oh. Alright, where am I supposed to go now? I mean I went up here. I did that. That's how I got the paper airplane. I don't know where else to go from here. I guess we have to backtrack. Is there a way to look at our little maze? My inventory. How funny. Okay, what is that like rubber ducky thing? There's so much to this I haven't even realized yet. Oh, I see. Depending what you press when you swing, you get different things. Yeah. All right, I guess, yeah, I guess we backtrack. Well, actually, that's the end of our extra 10 minutes for super epic, The Entertainment War. Which you guys have declared an extra, uh, a gong show winner, meaning an extra 10 minutes. Huzzah! Huzzah, indeed. All right. Let me go ahead and get us into one more game today. Mm. Okay. And then we'll vote on the ultimate gong show winner of the day. So keep in mind your favorites from the stream today. And you can let me know... Which one you like? All right, this next one also has a Twitch category, which is great. Okay. The final game on today's gong show is called Weakless. And thank you so much to Xbox for giving me the code to focus on uh, and showcase this today. Developed by Punk Notion, and their Twitter handle is Weakless Game, uh, and published by Another Road, this game launched in March of 2020 on Xbox, PC, and PlayStation 4. Weakless is a beautiful puzzle adventure game with stunning organic environments filled with curious life forms and a bioluminescent glow. Play as two weavelings, carefully wooden creatures, uh, when one of which is deaf, the other is blind. Switch between the two, solve unique puzzles, and save their world. The game tip that I got from the devs, uh, Reign of Keys says, what was the name of the previous game? The name of the previous game was Super Epic The Entertainment War. This game is called Weakless. Um, and so the game tip that I got ahead of time is you can only control one character at a time, which means you can't use the senses of both of them simultaneously. Explore fantastic lands and mysterious dimensions, and it features challenging arcade puzzle elements. Let's check it out. Press A to start. Oh, and let me get the voting. The voting is now open. Static Gamer, thank you so much for the posture check. Let me scooch in here. Here we go. New, new game, I guess. Okay. I 
I like the noises already. Little babies hatching in the waterfall? I can hear. Now they're going to be buddies. Okay. Here's our two buddies. supposed to represent like what I can hear. This is what I can see based on what I can hear. What are these bubbles? Right bumper. Okay, now I'm friend. Friend can see but not hear. could hear me jump in the water um right bumper has me change between the two of them like if I go here oh nope there's no jump oh but I can make that bigger that cool make that bigger trick again it reminds you of a tale of two brothers achievement unlocked baby steps ring a big gong huh oh up there a save point no oh it activates something so now this friend has to go across so that this friend can cross all right very very small oh can we this is our journal Oh, okay, I guess. How do I get back to the game? Continue, I guess. Okay. Come on, friend, we'll keep going. Like, what is that sparkly? Oh, it got bigger. Yeah, what's it sound like? So interesting. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, I can push it. Little man. Or maybe we both need to press at the same time. I don't know if we can. Because as soon as I switch to the other person, it stops. What if I use my special on it? No, I feel like it's telling me it's the other character that needs to do it. Oh, I just need to pull it back this way. Silly me. Yeah, lack of words, you're totally right. So far, there haven't really been any puzzles that you have to listen to get. hard to aim this thing. Okay. Elvel, this game is incredibly cute so far. It's called Weakless. And it's a puzzle solving game where one of the buddies can hear this guy and the other buddy can see and you need to use their stuff together to solve puzzles and such. This sounds like maybe the first time we need to hear. I'm not sure. They're making some pottery. That guy's making some food maybe. what these bubble things are. No? There it is! The cake is a lie. Growls. Growls are oh. Okay. And with that, y'all have declared Weekless a Gong Show winner. Congratulations to the dev team behind Weekless. That's Punk Notion on your Gong Show win today. All right, I believe we have just enough games to do our Gong Show poll. Just enough to make up a Twitch poll. So the poll will be for the ultimate Gong Show winner of the day today. Let's see, will it be ultimate Gong Show winner? Hi. Will it be, this is your show, so you decide, will it be Poosh XL, the game where you push one button by the Atom Vision? Will it be, it won't be Zombinions, which we checked out from Blue Spy Studios and Next in Game because that was not declared a gong show winner. Will it be Cornucopia from Subconscious Games, uh, which was the uh, Paper Mario meets Stardew Valley, I think is how someone described it. <laughs> Will it be 10 dates? The FMV dating sim that we tried out. Will it be super epic? The entertainment war. Taking down microtransactions one at a time. Or will it be weakless? 
the puzzle game we're playing right now where one friend can hear and one friend can see and they've got to work together. All right, folks, those are your options for the Ultimate Gong Show winner today. If you do not see the poll at the top of chat, just give it a refresh. 8-Bit D is smack talking in chat. Says Poosh is fun, but I don't like that developer very much, which is hilarious because Adam Vision is a good friend of the channel. Uh, 8-Bit D says, are you trying to guilt chat into voting for you to Adam Vision? No, no, no. Chat votes as they will. We have devs in chat fairly frequently for these indie game showcases. And chat, do as you like. I am going to keep playing weekless while you guys get your votes in. And let me adjust in my chair so I can sit like a gremlin. Okay. What's up here? Did we walk right past this? Oh, I want to hear this though. Making music with friendos. I see, I see. Too bad this friend can't hear the music. Got some shinies over here. Oh, look, he's like, friend, you do it. I can't hear what they're saying. Go listen to what they're saying. Oh, I'm like watching their play and everything and taking notes. Keep practicing, this achievement is called. Okay. Those friends making some art. That's cool. Okay, let's not run down there. This game's really pretty, too. I don't know what the point of lighting up those flowers is. I'm just doing it because I can. I also don't know what the point of this guy's stick ability is. Oh. Let's us see things a little farther away, I guess. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do with it, though. Maybe at some point there'll be like a wall we can't see through or something. Checking in on those votes. It does look like with almost half the vote, Poosh XL is in the lead right now, followed by Cornucopia and Weakless. Keep those votes coming in, everybody. Gotta get our friends across the bridges. Just looking around though, because it's so pretty. Uh, let's see, it does look like there's a friend over here. talking or anything though. The music is super cozy. 
I agree. Growl says, are there more giveaways today? No, we actually had a whole bunch of giveaways at the beginning of the stream today. We gave away some copies of Poosh XL and I gave away some DLC codes for Magic the Gathering Arena online thanks to a level 5 hype train. Ah, I see now that it's getting darker. It might be good for us to use friend. That's pretty cool. Folks, and with 48% of the vote, Poosh XL from good channel friend, The Atom Vision, is our gong show winner today. It looks like Weakless came in second place, followed closely by Cornucopia. Congratulations to all of our gong show winners today as we have this little drum circle in Weakless. Yay! By the way, if you're like, what happens if you're an ultimate gong show winner? It means that you make my favorite indie games of the month uh, highlight video that I put on YouTube each month. That's what it means if you're a gong show winner. Look, I love how friends are like clapping along. This friend's clapping along even though we can't hear. Our modest fellowship expands. Raise the sun. Uh oh, what's happening? No! Vision, you kind soul just gifted five subs on the channel. Thank you, Adam. And congratulations on your ultimate gong show win. Not just a gong show win, but your ultimate gong show win today. Uh, we had a good time with Poosh XL, and I have a question for you, Adam. The line that says Adam Vision in the game, is that your personal high score, or is that just like, I want you to know I made this game, so I put my name in it right there? Because everyone got excited when we thought I beat your personal high score. But I was like, there's no way. There's no way that's Adam's personal high score. Not even close, I say. Not even close. All right. Uh, let me check on my schedule. Um, let's see. Adam, you said, yeah, but I accidentally reset it again, so it stays up to date with my Steam score. Nice. Your Steam friends scores appear, too. I love that. So if anybody else plays, see if you can beat, uh, that's friends with me on Steam, see if you can beat my score. Folks, the next time I will be live is tomorrow at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, probably playing more Breath of the Wild to get that done before we get to Tears of the Kingdom, which I am incredibly hyped about. Um, so yeah, so thank you all for tuning in today. I know it was a later gong show than usual due to my PC build shoot running long this morning. But I appreciate you hanging in there with me, even though we started a little late. I'm a little headachy and a little more low energy. Um, Growl says, Trish, can you add uh, in my Steam? Message me on Discord. It's also, uh, if you have enough channel points, you can request it through Twitch. Um, but otherwise, message me on Discord if it's about a specific game. All right, everybody. Uh, MC says, where was the PC build shoot? Amazon knew it filmed right here in this very studio. All morning this morning. That's why it was like a little extra. Normally when I do PC build shoots, I do them at a company's studio with a bunch of people from like the different component manufacturers that are able to say, ah, like the thing we did new with this motherboard was blah, blah, blah. Or the thing that's interesting about this case is blah, blah, blah. And today it was just me in my house having to look up all those weird things because they were parts I hadn't built with before. So anyway, took a long time, but we got it done and I'll be able to tell you what it's for uh, soon enough, I hope, in a couple weeks, I think. Um, so yeah, so thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm going to go chill out, probably take some Tylenol, and I will see you tomorrow afternoon for a Wacky Wednesday stream. All right, everyone. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.